Okay, well, good morning to everyone for our service on this week of Lent. Saga with our technology. So we've uh, uh, gotten a, um, uh, a hot spot to make it easier to, to send stuff. seem to be having some um, uh, my phone for the microphone so uh, please let me know if anything happens for those with this online um, and um, I, so I'll, I'll be able to see your your chats uh, here and I'll be able to comment on those from time to time and I'm hoping that the audio matches what my lips are doing for you there. Uh, for those who are with us, uh, we're going to be following the first part of our service and the bulletins we have. For those with us online, we've got links for you to follow for the service, for the prayers of the people, and for the readings. So we'll get started now with our service for Holy Eucharist. The Lord forever. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Give ear to our prayers, O Lord, and direct the way of thy servants in safety under thy protection, that amid all the changes of our earthly pilgrimage, we may be guarded by thy mighty aid. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. The law is a difficult thing for us. It's what God desires for us. It's how God wishes for us to behave in the world. But we have so much trouble doing it. And that's why we need Jesus. We need Jesus to fulfill the law for us. But that doesn't let us off the hook. Jesus tells us that we're still called to uphold the law. We're also called not to tell others to break any of the law. But again, we cannot do this on our own. 
there's a part of us that's called to be realistic and yet another part that's called for us to be hopeful. Paul puts best this tension in Philippians 3 verses 12 through 14. And it's there that Paul says this, not that I have already obtained the goal or I'm already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brethren, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We know we can't fulfill the law, at least on our own, yet we're called to strive to try to do so anyways. We know that grace will always be a gift for us, a gift that is unearned and undeserved. Yet out of our love for Jesus Christ, we strive forward to try to live in the way that God would have us live in this world. We continue to try to live in the law, not out of any hope of reward, but because we love God and we want to do our best to try and live in the way that our Lord would have us live in this world. Our service now continues with the prayers of the people form three. Father, we pray for thy holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve thee. That thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do thy will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in thy sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise thee for the Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed Luke, Blessed Joseph, and all thy saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for the forgiveness of our sins, our own need, and those of others. We pray for the continued movement forward from this pandemic. We pray for all the victims of violence in the world, both here and abroad. O Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of thy people. In the multitude of thy mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to thee for help. For thou art gracious, O lover of souls, and to thee we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
And now please stand as you are able. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And peace to those who are with us online as well. You may be seated again. We continue now in our service with prayer one um, for our Eucharistic prayer. And I do want to give a little bit of announcement. Uh, we have a new priest who's getting ordained this weekend in the diocese, uh, John Connor, who uh, has a connection to this parish. Uh, his family uh, grew up or part of this, uh, this parish of St. Luke's. So he's asked uh, to uh, celebrate the Eucharist with us. So uh, God willing and the creek don't rise, uh, that's going to be next week. So we're going to have uh, John with us uh, to celebrate the Eucharist with us. Um, so Hope uh, you all will either be here uh, for that, whether in person or whether with us online. And now walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God. Again, our service continues with Eucharistic prayer one. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. and right so to do. It is very neat, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father. Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was in every way tempted as we are, yet did not sin, by whose grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer unto ourselves, but unto him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O glory be to thee, almighty God, our heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute 
and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us. And of thy almighty goodness, such sake to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit, these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, Yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover once for all is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. O Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come into my room. I speak the word only, and my soul shall be moved. The 
bottom of the class. Okay. Our service now continues with the post communion prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy son, our savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thine everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And now we'll have the prayers for healing. Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood has redeemed us, save, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. <coughs> As we would outwardly anoint those with holy oil, so may our Heavenly Father grant us the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. Of his great mercy, May he forgive us our sins, release us from suffering, and restore us to wholeness and strength. May he deliver us from all evil, preserve us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey. Be now and evermore our defense, and make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for help and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O Father of mercies and God of all comfort, 
our only help in time of need. We humbly beseech thee to behold, visit, and relieve thy sick servants, for whom our prayers are desired. Look upon them with the eyes of thy mercy. Comfort them with a sense of thy goodness. Preserve them from the temptations of the enemy and give them patience under their afflictions. In thy good time, restore them to health and enable them to lead the residue of their lives in thy fear and to thy glory. We grant that finally they may dwell with thee in life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll get ready to uh, shut off our uh, live stream and recording soon. But for those here, for those with us online, have a wonderful, blessed week and look forward to seeing you again with us soon.